Hello and welcome to another uh, Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andrea Onduko and with my husband, Dr. Akbo Onduko, we pastor the Chapel of Grace, which is a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford in West Yorkshire. It's great to be with you today and I pray that you're blessed as you watch in Jesus' name. Today's topic is rest in the Lord. And our Bible passage we're reading today is Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 to 34. Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Our memory verse is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Dear friends, let me start today by asking you a question. Are you among those people who wake up in the morning and spend the entire day in what is often referred to as the rat race? A rat race is an endless, pointless and self-defeating activity that takes a lot of energy but doesn't actually lead to any results or any point of rest. Now only a fool, or because it's called a rat race, we can say that any animal like a rat would get involved in this rat race. Whenever the Bible tells us that we don't need to be like that. Psalm 127 verse 1 says, Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guarding it with sentries will do no good. That means that God is the one that is building our lives. We don't need to be involved in rat race. We should let God build our lives. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave us what I call a wisdom capsule in this Bible reading of today. He admonishes us to stop worrying about our lives. He mentions that if only we can stay connected to our loving Heavenly Father, then we wouldn't and shouldn't have any cause to worry about our lives or about our tomorrow. Furthermore, he said it's only people that do not have God as their Father that worry about their lives what they would eat, what they would drink, what they would wear, and how they would sustain themselves financially and so on in every way. As God's beloved children, if you are truly born again, you have no business running up and down, run, running from pillar to post, from place to place, trying to work out how to fend for yourself. Why? Because the Bible says in Psalm 127 verse 2, that while unbelievers are running here and there, the Lord gives his beloved children sweet sleep. They are at rest from all the things that give unbelievers sleepless nights. Now this doesn't mean that you sit back and you don't go to work and you don't do anything and you say, oh God will provide. We should work hard, but once we are doing our best, we should know that God will also intervene in our case and in everything that concerns us and he will surely provide for us once we are putting his kingdom first. Our memory verse of today enjoins us to always seek God and his kingdom first of all. This verse tells us that if we dare to put God first in all the things that we do, all the things that we say and indeed all the things we think, then everything that we need to live a fulfilled life would be added unto us. The Bible confirms that in the book of 2 Peter 1 verse 3. It says, by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself. The truth is that we already have these blessings released and approved for us from heaven. We just need to fulfill the requirements and the blessings will be manifested in our lives on earth. How do I know this? Because again, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 1 verse 3, it says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Dear child of God, take counsel. 
enter the rest of God today by trusting him with your tomorrow. Remember I said that rest in the things of God does not mean lack of activity. It means a state of peace and a state of trusting in him that as I do my part, God will also do his part in providing for me. Our action point today says, is there any lack in your life? Tell your heavenly father about it today and he will pleasantly surprise you. So remember, do your part. You're in a partnership with God. Do your part. He will do his and all will be well with you in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.